welcome to this new video for my channel, The Mental Traveler. I'm Carol Herrera and today I'm going to be reviewing a book called Southern Daughter, The Life of Margaret Mitchell and the Making of Gone with the Wind. It was written by Darren Pyron and it was published back in 1991. It deals with the life of Margaret Mitchell, the author of Gone with the Wind, but this biography has an interesting approach which I shall be mentioning later on. But before I begin, let me just say that this will be a review with mild spoilers. So if you're not aware of the author's life or of the making of her book or of the making of the film, beware. And also, if you're wondering where my usual bookshelf's background is, well, I'm living abroad at the moment, so for a while you're gonna see me with this wall in the back, so yeah, anyways. So Margaret Mitchell is my favorite author, Gone with the Wind is my favorite book, Gone with the Wind is my favorite movie, Red Butler is my favorite male character, Scarlett O'Hara is my favorite female character, and their romance is my favorite romance of all times, so yeah, you get an idea why I wanted to read this book. Still, even though I read the book every year and I watch the movie countless times, even though I went to Atlanta once for my birthday because I really needed to see with my own eyes where all of this stuff happened, I was not as familiarized with Margaret Mitchell as you may think. But what I did know made her a role model for me. I admire her as a fellow woman, journalist and writer. But yeah, I knew the outline of her life and I had seen this movie about her called Burning Passion. So when I found this book in the library, I thought it was high time I got to know more about Margaret. And even though I read some reviews beforehand and they were not all encouraging, I was quite excited. Well, this is a biography, and if I'm honest, I don't think I've ever read anything like it. It begins by telling us about Mitchell's ancestors, creating this vivid tapestry of the environment she was born into, and this legacy. And then it goes on to describe her life from different angles, as well as her work, how her novel came about, the production of the movie, what the last 10 years of her life were like, what she did during World War II, how she coped with fame. But what's interesting here, the twist of this biography, is that it analyzes everything in Margaret's life through this cycle ecological point of view. For example, it studies a relationship with her mother, her friends, the men in her life, and even the way she just loved to write letters. I give Southern Daughter, The Life of Margaret Mitchell and the Making of Gone with the Wind a 5 out of 5 stars review. I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea because all of these psychoanalogies things can get a little bit heavy, but if you're into her life and her works and the movie and everything, then I'm sure you will enjoy it as much as I did. And also, I'm a journalist and this book is so thoroughly analyzed and researched, so I take off my hat to the author for that. And since this was my first biography about Margaret Mitchell, I was quite surprised to find some things about her that I didn't know before, or that I had this wrong idea about what she had done or been like. For example, I used to think that her relationship with her mother was very different, or I didn't know as well that she feared car accidents all of her life or that she had quite a struggle selling the book's copyrights to Hollywood but overall I thought that I really got to know even better Margaret, her friends, her family, the characters in her work because even though it's not a normal biography it has so many interesting details that it really helps to paint a vivid picture but yeah anyways for someone who loves Atlanta and Gone with the Wind, Margaret Mitchell, everything this was just a fascinating book and in the end I just ended up loving Margaret Mitchell even more than I did before and her work as well and the movie so yeah thanks cute to this book for that I didn't think it could be possible that I would love Gone with the Wind the book and the movie even more than I already did but yeah that's what happened anyways this is all I have to say about my review for this book at the moment thank you very much for watching it I'm keeping my fingers crossed that you like it but even if you didn't please let me know what you thought of this video or what you think about Margaret her works and the movie everything related to this because I would really like to talk about it with you. In the description box below you can find a link to the book's Goodreads page as well as a link to my review for Gone with the Wind the book and Gone with the Wind the film. I'm Carolera, the mental traveler and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Goodbye!